what's going on good morning monday morning back here uh let me show you where we're at and where we're going from here we we have a punch list that just it's growing <laughs> we have here these cabinets and um i'm not doing the electrical the owner is so he actually cut out this box this this hole here for the box and he wants me to pull that old box out and just pull the wires on that side because this cabinet here this refrigerator cabinet it's going to go here and uh hmm. let me show you where is that level but this wall is like way way off so So we have a gap so we're gonna to have to put a panel on this side here and scribe it into the wall but that's what we got going on there and and what we have here it's what we call the uh, easy level easy level show you over here he's put some in see down here they're down there somewhere you can see that so we got a uh, trim for the kick plate. And uh, not only that, this floor is off. Another thing over here on the list he wants me to do, so we got a soft spot right here. So we got a bunch of stuff. Today we're gonna install this over the fridge cabinet. First we're gonna put the uh, easy level can level up the cabinets two sides and then we'll see what we got for that over the fridge cabinet okay all right get overwhelmed we are going to be installing these uh, what they call easy levelers for the bottom of the cabinets so uh, and uh, I don't know if it's so easy installing them but we're gonna give it a shot never used them before I've always used shim, shims but uh, technology and things are changing and uh, so we have to uh, uh, we have to change right so we're going to be doing these refrigerator cabinets and then we're going to do an overhead cabinet and uh, we're going to start with these easy levels, see how that goes.
like it. So there you go. One in front, one in the back. So you stick your little key in here. Yeah. Yeah, let's see. This one. Turn it in. There you go. You have a little key. Not bad, it's pretty easy. Uh, six more to go though. <laughs> so we have put four on each side on both cabinets. That's a total eight easy level. And uh, I think it's gonna work good. Uh, beats, beats shimming them out. And your shim's moving around, right? So we'll give it a shot. This floor is pretty bad, so much more to go. Let's see if these uh, easy feet work. I'm gonna level these. Long cabinets. So you gotta go up and in. And from the back, let's see what we got. Front's gotta come up. Up and in. Right up to here.
Okay, we got the, uh, that's a 36 by 12, um, and it gives us just enough to slide the refrigerator back in there. All right, let's take a look where we are. I need those uh, cabinet clamps where it's got three, three areas where it clamps. I need to get me a set of those. Um, I don't do a whole lot of cabinet work, but um, I thought this one went up pretty easy. I got to do some adjustments, but um, so now we have eight areas where we can adjust the level. We have uh, four on the right cabinet and four on the left. And um, and in the top cabinet, once we get it all leveled, we're just gonna screw in right next to the uh, right next to the hinge here. And uh, we'll have to put a little support here somewhere, something back there. But uh, I'll let you know. And she's all leveled up and in. Still pretty tight. refrigerator goes in but you can obviously see that the cabinets are level and the fridge is not so we're gonna have to level up the fridge but we got her in the, we got her in the in the hole there so that's it got going on is we're gonna put a panel here um, because these cabinets are not as deep they're not up against the wall he wanted them kind of flush with the front of the refrigerator so we're gonna have a little panel so we're gonna build a little something here we'll do the baseboards and that's what we got for today and uh, uh, the problem was the uh, panel doesn't come in a full sheet like a side panel for a fridge so this is kind of kind of like a skin and they only come in four foot sections I don't know why so we're just gonna have to uh, uh, get a little bit creative kind of like a custom custom uh, custom fit and we'll see we'll see if we do okay Okay, and also the wall is out of plumb and everything in this kitchen goes downhill bad. So we have to work with that. So I think first thing first thing we need to do is the bottom panel, make sure that we scribe to the tapered floor, and then we gotta scribe to the tapered wall. It's gonna be a little tricky. We're, we're, we're gonna get it, okay?
show you something. See that nice little cut? Let me show you something. Come with me. You're gonna like this. My buddy has a uh, big 12 inch Hitachi. And that thing cuts beautiful. The older Hitachi 12 inch. I don't know what brand, name model. I don't know. Uh, I, I got mine at home. I got the 10 inch, uh, what is it, Metabo, which is uh, uh, the new the new name for the old Hitachi. The new old Hitachi. Anyway, uh, let's, let's trim this thing out. Show you what we got. All right, one more for the top. Down there be kick plate. We are in good shape. Can't see the seam, and it kind of looks like uh, the whole shaker style. I only wish that this seam was up here where the door was, but the pieces were only four foot. That's why I wanted a full size panel, but that will work. Last piece, and I'm going to show you a little trick uh, when you're doing trim work. Um, cut it just a hair, like a sixteenth long, and let it snap into place. Let me show you what I mean. So we got here. Well, okay. Now we're going to put it right in place where it's supposed to go. Let me show you what I mean. Let's take a look. And a little little stuff off of there and here we go yeah. press it right in there I can even put a little clamp on there and put a little pressure on it we're not gonna nail it we're just gonna just bring it right down nice and even so now we have the look of the what do they call these uh leave a comment if you know the shaker style but we have basically the same picture frame going on. There it is. The uh, kick plate that's going to wrap around. And uh, so. Hey, who is that? Ah! Hey, who is that? I'm getting swarmed by uh, hornets. A little cover here for these legs. Because uh, I don't know if he's going to get a cover, but that'll come out if it needs to. And we are over here. So we're going to come around. Finish this up. Let's see what I got here for a measurement. Right. Here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now it starts to taper uphill. So we're looking for some cut first.
We're cracking skulls today. Uh, had to secure the cabinet to the wall over there. Yeah, I kept bumping my head up in there. I had to put a filler piece in there because from down here you can see the back of the cabinet. He wanted that covered. And uh, the caulking. I gotta get some mineral spirits because that stuff, it's uh, really, really good caulk. Anyway, uh, you can see how it just gets dirty and whatnot. So I gotta get mineral spirits and clean it all up and re-caulk it. Uh, kick plates are in. There, there. All the way down, all the way across, over, around that stove. That's a removable piece. Um, I told him you want something black, kind of to match, or stainless cover. He's trying to locate one, but if not, we boxed it in a little bit because today's my birthday. And um, yeah, I'm here at work. And uh, if you have a birthday this month, uh, happy birthday, okay? Uh, it's a cool soggy morning and uh, I wore the wrong shoes to begin with. He's got a hole in them. My feet are already getting wet. Pretty soggy. Water, 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 water everywhere. Uh, this cabinet's all done. I cleaned up the edge and I put a little, little corner edge there. I don't know if you can see it but there was a slight gap. So that's all buttoned in. Kick plates are all in, you know. So it's cold, rainy. Oh, check it out guys. I bought a bin with wheels on it. So now I can keep my, uh, my cordless tools in there because of the reason I had it, I had it in here, which it worked pretty well. But I was finding myself running back and forth, running back and forth. So now I'll just roll the roll the job box up and wherever I'm working and just throw everything in there. cabinets went and got some washers and uh, finished the uh, cabinet door handles there's still a little bit of adjusting I adjust the doors but let me show you where we're at handles are in baseboards are in this panel's all done looking pretty good handles on there handles handles put a little trim piece over here Just a slight gap there we took care of it baseboard kick plates are in kick plates are in all the way around okay cabin handles all the way around i had to i had to cut the uh the little screws i had to cut them down so they wouldn't hit anything okay so next step is we're going to take care of some rot wood rot here can't see it over there because of the sun. But this thing here is pretty, pretty bad. We got some wood rot there. But anyway, this is where I'm going to leave it at today. Uh, thanks for watching. Hit that like button. 
Um, if you want to see the uh, how to handle this uh, wood rot, subscribe and it'll notify you when the next video comes out. All right. Thanks for watching and have a blessed day.